Hey everyone, this is me unboxing here of the top fin from PetSmart, the Trepezoid Aquarium. This is a three gallon fish tank here. It is 13.47 inches long by 9.6 inches wide by 8.6 inch is tall. And it does look pretty cool. This was on sale for 30 bucks from the PetSmart I bought it from. I believe it's normally like 35. Uh, and you get the normal box up here for top fin. First we have what this comes with and the paperwork in there. And then we are going to try and get this out. Got a little bit of styrofoam. This is wrapped in plastic. And then in the box, there's more styrofoam. And then a little white box, which has our power adapter to it. And the tank itself is going to be plastic. It is not made of glass, uh, which is why it is pretty cheap. Uh, the glass tanks in this uh, in this size range are $20 more, $30 more, depending on which one you get. Uh, glass definitely costs more these days uh, by quite a bit. Let's see, this is pretty much stuck on here. There we go. Uh, so we have the LEDs. They're just going to be white LEDs. And then, of course, our adapter part there. And this does have a feeder flap on it. It's actually nice and tight as well. Uh, it doesn't just flip open easy, uh, which is a good thing in my opinion. It uh, also has the top fin symbol there as well. It's a bit of a funky shape to it since this is the trapezoid aquarium. We of course do have the uh, filter here, which is, I think, believe or taped on, not believe on, but taped on. And we also have, so we have all the normal stuff for these top fin uh, filters. We have your biological media, and then you have your normal cartridge there uh, with the carbon stuff on the inside. This does have some tape on it, so make sure you take that off. And I think that's there we go. Of course, have the filter itself. Again, this is just a standard filter from Top Fin. Looks like this part can come off if you needed to. Probably has the uh, impeller in there. Otherwise, I mean, again, it's just a standard one, minimum and maximum water levels there. Again, this is really just more about the shape than anything else. I mean, it is a pretty cool shape. Nothing crazy, just trapezoid, I guess, shaped. See, it does actually have markings here for the filter. The bottom just has little plastic feet with little rubbers on the bottom here so you don't end up scratching up whatever you put this on. But again, I mean, it's a pretty basic plastic tank. For only 30 bucks, it's not too bad these days. It's all tanks that don't up in price. There we go. Again, I think it's nice looking. Again, only 30 bucks. Then real quick, I just wanted to look at the filter a little bit better here. So it does come into multiple pieces. This is the cup that was in there. And then if you do take that all out, uh, it might be a little bit hard to get back in there, but you do have this little guy in here, uh, and this is actually adjustable. And as hopefully you guys can read there, if it'll focus, okay, it doesn't want to focus, uh, but it is 1.5 watt with a uh, max output of 20 gallons per hour, which is good for the size of a tank. And the more important part here, if I can get that to focus, uh, it, is, it is adjustable. So you just turn this and your flow rate will be adjusted Person, I'll probably turn mine down. Or you can also just use the uh, this guy here. Either way, uh, I'm gonna turn mine down about almost all the way down. That way, it does not push the most likely beta I'm gonna put in here. If you do take this apart like I just did, make sure you do put it back in there correctly. Otherwise, you begin a whole bunch of noise and the filter will not work correctly.
And the last thing we're going to do is look at the lights, which I now have plugged in. So it is just on or off. Go ahead and turn these on. And they are going to be decently bright. And then this is a pretty small tank. It's just the three little LEDs. Uh, I do have this tank about eh, not even 10 feet away from a window. So it is somewhat bright in my room right now. And they still do shine nice and brightly. But yeah, all in all, we'll have to see how this turns out once I actually set it up all the way. But I think it's going to be a cute little tank. Yeah, it's only three gallons, so I'd only really recommend putting a beta in here. Uh, maybe some shrimp if you know what you're doing. But really, this size of the tank really isn't great for too, too many different things. But yeah, stay tuned though. Eventually I'll set this thing up and we'll see how it does. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Have a good one. Goodbye.